Happy Wednesday, second graders. This is Mrs. McMartin again, bringing you your writing lesson for the day. The other day, you guys were in charge of creating a T-chart for I Wanna Iguana. This is what mine looked like, and I'm on mom's side, and I think that Alex should not have the iguana. Today, we're gonna complete our T-chart, and the way that we're going to do that is by doing our core four first. All of you guys are familiar with the core four. It is the planner that we use to create our topic sentence and our conclusion sentence. So we will be filling in these green spots today on our T-chart after completing our core four. There's three types of sentences that we do on a core four. Um, we have our simple declarative sentence or SDS, a number statement, and a quality question. So for my first topic sentence, we want to keep it as simple as possible, just like the name says. So I need to quickly think about my opinion and whose side I'm on. I'm on mom's side, and my opinion is Alex should not have an iguana. That's literally going to be my simple declarative sentence. Alex should not have an iguana. See how simple that was? Now we're going to move on to our number statement, which is where we include number words like um, many, several, a few, a couple, two, three. So I'm going to basically take the same sentence that I just did over here, and I'm going to add that over into number statement, and then I'm going to say for blank reasons. Now I'm going to introduce you guys to one of my favorite words to use here. I think it's such a fun word. My sentence is going to say, Alex should not have an iguana. for a plethora of reasons. Plethora is just another fancy word that means a lot, but I think it's a fun word. So we're gonna go with that one. Quality question, remember quality question can only be used in a topic sentence. We never can end our paper with a question because then who's gonna answer it? We answer our question with our writing. That's why our question always goes at the beginning. And in our writing, if you guys use a quality question or a number statement at the beginning in a topic sentence, on the writing rubric, that puts you in, an, in the advanced category of a grade for a number four. So my quality question is going to be something along the lines of, what are some reasons why Alex should not have an iguana? question mark at the end. Now I'm going to answer that question with my writing. So my big ideas and my key details are going to be answering that question. Now remember, every time that we do a core four, we pick two. And they are going to be our topic sentence and our conclusion sentence. So I'm going to make my quality question my topic sentence. Okay, that's going to be my topic, and I'm going to put a T in here. T for topic sentence. Next, I'm going to take and make a conclusion sentence, and my conclusion sentence is going to be my number statement. Oh my goodness. This is not cooperating with me this morning, you guys. This is why I like being at school with our document camera and paper and pencil. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, number statements, my conclusion, I'm going to add a C. 
So even though I'm doing this on my computer and it's not as easy as using paper and pencil, you guys will be using paper and pencil. You guys have copies of this included in your blue bag that went home with you. And yesterday you did the T-chart. Is it on the back of the T-chart? I think it might actually be copied on the back of your T-chart. Let me check quickly. Yes. So your T-chart, the back side of it has your core four on it. So take whatever T-chart that you did for I want iguana, flip it over to the other side, and you're going to take that and put it in. You're going to use your core four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these... Um, sentences that I've chosen and I'm going to transfer them into my t-chart. So I'm going to go back to my t-chart right here and I'm going to say what are some reasons Alex should not have an iguana? Question mark. And down here I'm going to say remember at the conclusion we also need another transition word so I'm going to say something like, um, as you can see, that's my, my um, transition word to let you know I'm wrapping it up, I'm ending my writing, I'm almost done. As you can see, Alex should not have an iguana for a plethora of reasons. Okay, so just make sure that you guys watch, I hope you guys watch this video before everything and that all of these steps are helpful and walk you through it. If you're confused and these steps are not making sense, um, have a parent reach out to me on Parent Square or you guys can reach out to me on Google Classroom. But I know that all of you guys are familiar with the T-chart and the Core 4 and what the process looks like. It's just we're no longer working on facts. Now we're working on how we feel and how we think. Um, and we will be moving on to another topic probably next week when we finish I Want a Iguana. And then you'll really get to do your own opinion. Um, some of the opinions that we've done in the past have been things like, what is your favorite season in, this, in the year? Um, do you think students should go to school all year long? And you're going to get a chance to present us with your ideas and your opinions. So I'm excited to see your guys' writing. So far, everything's looking really great, and I'm really proud of you guys for working so hard. Keep up the good work, and I miss you guys very much.